Hi guys, Eman here of Gadget Filipinas and this is our review of the Realme Narzo 50A. Apart from its mid-range offerings, Realme has also been putting effort into offering affordable and capable smartphones for gamers on a budget with its Narzo series. And the new Narzo 50A is how to prove that you don't have to put a big hole in your wallet to be able to play today's popular titles while not compromising at other departments. These days, it's always nice to see a fresh new look on a phone, especially when it's in the entry-level segment. For the Narzo 50A, Realme has opted to have two patterns for the groove surface on its rear panel, with one section having diagonal stripes. While this doesn't help in getting a good grip for one-handed use, it does add to its visual flair. The camera module also has a new design, which nicely complements the color of the phone. Apart from the Narzo branding, the physical fingerprint reader is also somewhat included in the camera module. Despite its affordable 7990 price tag, Realme did not skip on having things like expandable storage, a USB-C port, and to those who love their wired headphones, a 3.5mm headphone jack. Up front, the phone looks like most other phones in its price range. A notch that houses the front camera and slightly thick bezels that surround the screen. Talking about the display, you get a 6.5 inch IPS LCD with a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels or HD. Now, some people would argue that that's no longer acceptable by today's standards, but if you look on the bright side, you're trading image quality for more performance, which I think is more important for a phone at this price range. Since the GPU does not need to push as much pixels as, say, a 1080p display, and you also get more uptime. As for the refresh rate, it's 60Hz, which while not the best you can get at this price point, is still fine for pretty much everything you'll do with this phone, whether that's watching a movie, browsing a website, or playing a game. The Narzo 50A is powered by an Helio G85 processor, offering a good balance of performance and efficiency. Now, I don't have a problem with 4 gigs of RAM, but 64 gigabytes of storage could be a bit of an issue. After installing a couple of games and benchmarking apps, I found out that I've already eaten up more than half of the internal storage. And while there's a micro SD card slot, it still would have been nice if this had more room. Realme is marketing this phone as an entry-level gaming champion. So we threw in some games to test if it can indeed deliver at least a decent experience. Based on the results, the Helio G85 is more than capable enough to handle most of what we tested it on, but evidently struggles with more graphics-intensive games like Genshin Impact. Narzo 50A has a 50-megapixel main rear camera, accompanied by a portrait lens, and a macro lens. Personally, I would swap out the macro lens with an ultra-wide unit simply because it applies more for my everyday use. The macro camera does not get you the sharpest or most detailed images, but it lets you be a bit playful and have fun. While photos show good amounts of detail in less than ideal lighting, the camera tends to overexpose the background at times, making it look hardly close to what the actual condition is. The bokeh effect looks decently refined with good separation and accuracy. Selfies also show good detail and sharpness, though edge detection in portrait mode needs a bit of refinement. Narzo 50A runs Android 11 with Realme UI 2.0 on top. I've said it before, and I'll keep saying it again and again, what I love about their take on Android is the amount of room for personalization. There's even a dedicated section for it in the menu. As always, there's the assistive sidebar, which lets you take screenshots, screen recordings, and more with a few swipes and taps, as well as game space, which lets you set performance profiles, block notifications, open select applications as a floating window, take screenshots, and even record gameplay. The phone only has Widevine L3 security, so you'll only be able to watch shows on Netflix at 480p quality max. The Narzo 50A's 6000 mAh battery should guarantee you long hours of use as it scored more than 20 hours with PC Mark's Work 3.0 benchmark that simulates tasks like photo and video editing as well as data manipulation. It supports 18 watt fast charging, and you'll need around 3 hours to fully recharge that battery from 0 to full. If I had to categorize the Realme Narzo 50A, it would be in the balance team. It may not have the best of everything, 
that it has been precisely made to do well in two key aspects, not just for gaming but for everyday use as well, performance and battery life. Of course, there are some areas where the phone could have been better. If your priority is the camera performance and having lots of storage, then this phone isn't for you. Still, if the goal of the Narzo 50A was to be a device that delivers a decent gaming experience for those who are on a budget, I believe that Realme has done their homework. A perfect score? No. Realme Narzo 50A comes in two colors, oxygen green and this oxygen blue. It is priced at 7990 and will be available exclusively via Realme's official store in Lazada starting November 11, where it will be offered at 1000 pesos off plus free shipping. So that was our review of the new Realme Narzo 50A. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Eman from Gadget Pilipinas. Thank you for watching.